By the way, let's explore this other guitar I've got sitting over here. I just got this the other day, locally, and this is a Samick. As you know, I probably have had Samics before. And the thing about these is when I went to a music store one time and they had one with a mounted pickup and one with a floating pickup. And I decided to try them both. And lo and behold, I like the floater better. Isn't that crazy? So look at the, the flame, the quilt on this. Now, the guy I bought it from, he said, you don't think that's a pitcher? And I said, I don't think so. And uh, I've heard of things being a pitcher, but uh, it is, you can see that there are two pieces of wood there. So I don't know if it's a pitcher or not, but either way, it's pretty. If it is a pitcher, I don't blame them because the guitar is so inexpensive. What do you want, you know? So um, I, I got this today, uh, or actually uh, not today, uh, yesterday I think it was, and uh, worked on it t today. And um, had to re-cut the bridge, adjust the neck, adjust the nut. The nut was didn't play with. It was too high. Volume. There's your tone. This has a pretty low output, but the pickup is a sure long ways away from the strings. So... By the way, let's well, zoom on in on this pickup. This is not your stock pickup. It is a Bartolini. That's a $200 upgrade to put that pickup on there. So, uh, I think I'm gonna raise the pick guard. So it's pretty nice.
I need to work on the action just a little bit more. I think it sounds pretty good. It does, doesn't it? The, for yeah. the, um, it's there, a LaSalle. Yeah, LaSalle. It's a JZ4. I think the other ones were threes. So, uh, yeah, it's got a real nice pickup. Uh, anyway, I'm going to let's let's take a look at this and uh, so th this thing is in very nice condition, and uh, again, I'm going to offer this up. I don't know my monitor; it looks yellow, but it's it's very a deep honey blonde. <laughs> Look at that! Now, the neck. There it is. Yeah, it's well. Gosh, it. Oh yeah, yeah. It's got the uh, the joint. The uh, oh, I forget what they call that joint, but this is made in Korea. It's a nice shape. No, uh, no fretware to speak of. I uh, hydro. I uh, lube oiled the the uh, rosewood fretboard and the bridge. So it's a rosewood fretboard, I think. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's rosewood. And the bridge is ebony, but it's not really. It's rosewood with an ebony stain, in my estimation, which is fine. And uh, so there it is. It's pretty quiet, isn't it? I mean, it's not it make a bunch of noise or anything. Yeah, it's the low input, too, because it's cranked over here. Yeah. But it sounds good. This thing sounds pretty good. Plays, plays pretty good. I'm gonna lower that action a little more. I didn't have time to do that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. So anyway, there is a LaSalle JZ4. Um, I've saw it, it's a 25 and a half inch scale length, 17 inch body depth or a lower bout, three and a half inch body depth. It's an L5, basically. So those are the dimensions of an L5. If you ever thought about getting an L5, maybe you ought to get one of these first. Make sure you like the way it feels, because L5s are big guitars. <laughs>
Hi, Rich here again. I just wanted to say thanks for checking out my videos. If you like it, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and sign up for those notifications so you can see all the cool guitar videos we put out each week. If you want more lessons right now, I have hundreds of them at guitarcollegelibrary.com. Check out our low price monthly streaming memberships. And if you want to learn jazz, check out my course, Jazz Guitar Improv. I take beginner jazz players and get them playing awesome solos on the fly. You'll see the link for the JGI course in the description below. Hey, thanks again for watching my channel. We'll see you again real soon with a new video.